Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. Abba, Yahweh, Bashem, Mashak, Yahweh, Shai, Barakathai, to all the elect elders and uh, righteous brothers in the nation of Israel, and uh, those baptized with the Holy Spirit. terribly because they're telling themselves that you don't have the Holy Spirit. When you say you don't have the law written in your heart, you're saying you don't have the Holy Spirit because you cannot have the Holy Spirit. You cannot have a law written in your forehead and not have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit goes in hand in hand with keeping the most highest commandments, right? Which is obeying the voice of the Lord, right? So if you don't uh, have you don't have the Holy Spirit, you can't keep the Most High's commandments. So you can't have the Holy Spirit but not be keeping the Most High's commandments, man. You see? So, you know, that's what it is, man. It's about having the Holy Spirit, right? Which is the Spirit that's going to justify those in Hamashiach. There's no condemnation to those that are in Hamashiach, right? And to see the Lord. And I, in the name of the Lord, shall all see the Israel be justified, man. Right? So this is this is it right here. This is Revelation 7. And, um, uh, 2. And I saw another angel sent from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees. Right? To till... Right? Till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. So they're going to seal the servants of their of the Most High God in their foreheads, man. And it says till, meaning it's a process of, this is a process of the elect entering into the new covenant and, and the angels putting the spirit on them and uh, it being in their forehead. And this is before they get even delivered. They have the seal in their forehead. So they're already in the new covenant. And they haven't even been delivered in Revelation 7 and 3. They have the seal of God in their foreheads. The ones that the angels are putting it into. Inside of them. Right? Until they have the seal of servants of our God in their foreheads. So this is a process of the angels doing this. Okay? And it said this happened just overnight. but So this is showing that they're going to be in the spirit of the Lord before they even get delivered, man. You got guys talking about we gotta wait till the most high come back to receive his spirit. That's ridiculous, man. Alright? The scriptures tell you the Messiah came to baptize with the Spirit of the Lord. So how the hell can you say you don't have the Spirit of the Lord? Because some of you guys just don't have it, I guess. Right? Or don't believe in the Son of God to receive it. Alright? one that taught the law of God. So it says forehead. The forehead. Right? Space between the eyes. Okay, so it's inside their forehead, which is inside their mind, man. I'm going to get another verse showing that the elect will have the most highest seal in their forehead. And what is the seal? The Most High's name and His law, statutes, and commandments, man. Right? Which, uh, you know, it 
Haney started with the name pretty much on this side. Right, and then learning the, the law, statutes, and all that. Which in the law, it tells you the name of the Lord. Right, which that has to be in your forehead. That's part of getting the seal of the Most High. Knowing his name. And knowing what is good and what is evil to the Lord. Okay, that's part of having the seal of the Most High. If you ain't got that, you finish. Revelation 14 and 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. So they're going to have the Most High's name written in their foreheads, man. These are the brothers that get delivered, man. You see? They're going to have it already inside of them. And when they deliver, it's still, when they get delivered, it's still going to be inside of them. Right? Don't and tell you that uh, your works are, your works do follow you. All right. <clears throat> Let's keep it going. All right, this is Revelation 22. And I'm going to start at verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there a tree of life, which bare twelve minor fruits. There shouldn't be no more curse, man. So that's that's what's going to be done away with when we talk about the Old Testament being done away with. A lot of brothers get bugged out when you tell them, you know, the Old Testament is done away with. Which when we say the Old Testament being done away with, it's talking about the curses, man. We're not going to be in slavery no more. We're not going to die no more. We're not going to hate each other no more. That's what it's talking about that's going to be done away with. All right? Which the elect... Is not under the curses right now. They're not uh, hating their brother and uh, doing the things that's against the Most High, right? But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and the servants shall serve Him, and they shall see His face, and His name shall be in their foreheads, man. So the elect is going to have the Most High in their forehead. They're going to have a Yahweh in their forehead. Which meaning the spirit of the Lord is going to be on them, man. That's what it's talking about. Okay? And that's what the Messiah was coming to do. To teach them the spirit of the Lord. That's why Yahweh Shai said, except you be baptized, you're not getting in the kingdom, man. Because you have to receive the spirit of the Lord. Alright? You have to be baptized with the spirit of the Most High. Or you finish. That's just how it go, man. <clears throat> so we see that the elect shall have the most high's name written in the foreheads, just like it says in Ezekiel 9. <clears throat> Ezekiel chapter 9. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry. So guess what? The men that sighing and crying, they already have the mark in their foreheads why they're sighing and crying, man. You got guys talking about they're waiting to uh, receive the spirit, the seal of the Lord, man. Which the seal of the Lord is uh, having his name in your forehead, man. And knowing right from wrong. Because if you don't know, and, and every Israelite is not going to have the seal of God in their forehead because every Israelite is not going to make the kingdom, man. That's even in Ezekiel. Alright? And it's in Daniel. So, uh, shout out, man. You have to be able to discern between him that serve the Lord and him that serve him not, man. So that's what it is, man. The elect have the name of the Most High in their forehead, man. Right? Then the Most High say you're going to write the law in their heart. Isaiah 51 and 7, hearken unto me, ye that know no righteousness, man. So that's what the new covenant is about. It's about knowing what righteousness is, man. We fall short, but we, we justify it by the sacrifice of Hamashiach. That's the new covenant. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness. The arm of the Lord. The people whose heart is my law. 
for you not to reproach a man, neither be afraid of their revilings, man. So the elect don't have a uh, new covenant written in their hearts, man. Okay. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 1, my son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments, man. And we were commanded to believe on the Son of God for the remission of sin. Okay, so uh, let me get this word heart real quick. is the inner man. See that? That's the new covenant, man. Even the word love in the Hebrew means inner man. Your mind, your heart, your understanding. You're supposed to have understanding of what is righteous and what is wicked. If you don't have that, you don't have the most high spirit, man. Come on, man. Stop making this stuff hard and difficult, man. It's, it's plain. Love, the heart. Figuratively, very widely for the feelings, the will, and even the intellect. Right? Care, consent. Okay. The seat of emotions. <clears throat> right? Your emotions, knowing what to do, what to do, and not to do. Right? Knowledge, thinking. This is all inner man. Mind, soul, heart of man. Inner part. Mind. Okay? So get your lob right, man. And let the let the most high's name be written in your inner man. That's the new covenant. Having his name written in your inner man. Having the mark written in your inner man. Because the scripture says you the name of the Lord uh is a strong tower, man, and a righteous runneth into it. That's part of the that's the new covenant. Come on, man. Revelation, right? To show, even in the book of Revelations, even in the book of Revelations, you're going to see. Hey, the book of Revelations will reveal it to you that the uh, the elect, the 144,000 and elect, right? They're going to have the faith for the Messiah, and they're going to have the they're going to have the commandments and the faith for the Messiah, man. That's the new covenant, man. Which is the Most High's commandments. Side. And we're going to see that the elect like, have that, you know, Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Revelation 14 and 12, because it, I'm going to read Revelation 14 and 12, but it, like again, I read Revelation 14, verse 1 earlier, which states that uh, I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion and with him 144,000 having his father's name written in their foreheads. So these are the brothers that got delivered, right? In verse 1 is telling you they're going to get delivered. And um, in verse 12, it says, Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of the Messiah, man. Right? So while they were alive, they kept the commandments, man. And they had the faith of the Messiah. What's the scriptures tell you? Father and the Son, but uh, have not that doctrine, made them not God's people. So the new covenant is about believing in the Father and the Son, just like we read in Second Ezra, the second chapter, about uh, confessing the Son of God, right? So it goes hand in hand. Even Second Ezra is speaking about uh, confessing the Father and the Son. Revelation 12. Revelation 12 is also going to prove that uh, the elect is keeping the new covenant. Right? They have the new covenant right now and they're going to have it in the kingdom. Alright? Because it's, oh man, yeah. You know, that's what it is. I'm going to show that they, they got it right now, man. Because the kingdom is within. Alright? It's within. So this is Revelation 12 and 17. And the dragon was wrought with the
thy works, behold, I have set before thee open door, and no man can shut it. But thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my words, and hast not denied my name. See that? That's the new covenant. Right? What it says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it, and it is safe. So the, Lord, the name of the Lord is, is what's going to save us, man. Which is what the Messiah was teaching. Right? The Spirit of the Most High. Which is the New Testament. The New Covenant. Alright? So I'm going to get another scripture to show that, uh, that the New Covenant is already here for those that have it. Which is the uh, knowledge of the King. within you, you're not in the new covenant, man. And if, if, and if the, you can't say you, uh, you can't say you have the kingdom of God within you, but we're not entering into the new covenant, right? The, the Messiah's blood don't start the beginning of the new covenant. See, you cannot say you have the kingdom of God within you. Then say the Messiah's blood does not start the new covenant. That's total wickedness and rebellion. All right, total wickedness and rebellion. What do you say? Behold, the kingdom of God is within you, man. That's the knowledge of the Most High, knowing that we have to uh, be justified by the righteous arm of the Lord, the Savior, right? And knowing that the Most High, Yahweh, is one. And that there is none else. That's the kingdom, man. We don't want to love our brother and sisters, man. Right? According to righteousness. And loving our neighbor as ourselves. Right? And being peacefully, being living peacefully with all men. 
That's the new covenant. The new covenant says live peacefully with all men. You could, the, the, the old covenant says, if, if, if uh, the old covenant says, man, go ahead and, you know, and uh, <laughs> ter terrorize the Canaanites, man. <laughs> all right. So, you know, in the, the old covenant says stone uh, homosexuals, man. See that? Which is the same covenant, man. But it starts with the blood of the Messiah, man. And we'll be keeping those same laws. Which we know we know those laws. So those laws are in a lot of brothers' hearts. Right? But those laws don't get executed till we get back in the land. Right? So guess what, man? The law is already in the leg heart, man. They know that uh, animal sacrifice ain't going to start until we get back in the homeland. The elect knows... Uh, the Most High Yah's one, right? The elect knows that the Messiah is the son of the Most High Yah, right? The elect knows, right, to love their neighbor as themselves, man. They know to honor their mother and their father, right? They know these things, man. They know to love their wife as themselves, right? Guess what, man? It's supposed to be within you. Let's get what Hamashiach said again. This is Luke 17 and 21. Neither shall they say, Lo, here or lo, there. But behold, the kingdom of God is within you, man. For the kingdom of God is the, is the knowledge of the Holy Spirit, man. Right? The most high's word, man. The most high's word. He said the kingdom of God is within you. So they got cut, man. Asking for you know, see the literal kingdom, man. Just like a lot of Jakes right now are bugged out, want to see the literal kingdom. You bug the hell out, ready for the literal kingdom to be literally established when you haven't even had the kingdom within you right now, man. How the hell are you gonna be ready for the kingdom to be physically here and you can't even deal with it within, man? He said the kingdom of God is within you, man. How much y'all know, son? Romans 14 and 17, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, right? The kingdom of God is not a nigga uh, party, man, right? For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, right? And it's not just some ghetto party, man. It's not a house party, right? But righteousness, which is the Torah, right? And faith in Hamashiach, was shy, And peace, which is Shiloh. And joy in the Holy Spirit, which is Yahweh. So that's the kingdom of the Most High, man. It's supposed to, this is what's supposed to be within you, man. Righteousness, peace, joy, and the Holy Spirit, man. That's the kingdom, man, right there. Okay? Come on, man. Luke 10 and 9. And heal the sick that are therein and say unto them, the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. <laughs> hey, how the hell they ain't in the new covenant? But they over here healing brothers talking about the kingdom of God has come nigh unto you. Explain this to me, man. <laughs> hey, Luke 10 and 11. It, it, even the very dust of your city which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you. Notwithstanding, be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. See that? The kingdom already came, man. The kingdom is here. You guys talking about we not in the new covenant, you're, you're ridiculous, man. All right? Hamashiach, Yahushua, what he say? He says, say not the kingdom of if God is here or there. Right? Say not, for the kingdom is be, is within you, man. Ooh, wee. So that's a cut, man. So they was out there going crazy, casting out demons, talking about the kingdom of God is come, come nigh unto you. How the hell you think these beloveds had power to do all these things, man? It was by the Spirit of the Most High, right? The kingdom being 